Uh, greetings, Gemini. How are you? And welcome. And to um, all of my Geminis who've left comments, and uh, thank you so much. And uh, I'm back here doing your readings and on a regular basis. So uh, please uh, tap in and see what Gemini you need to know. And today we're going to uh, start with the Sacred Nature Oracle. And this is an oracle uh, um, to help us get guidance from the earth itself and to see how you're influenced by the plants, the trees, nature around you. And this is for you, uh, Gemini. Absorption. Interesting. Absorption. There is this energy of absorbing uh, nutrients. You know, like the infant absorbs that uh, nutrients from its mother. It's totally receptive, uh, nurturing nur nutrients. And the earth itself absorbs um, the nourishment of the sky, of the waters. So Gemini, there is something you're needing to pull in and absorb, like a sponge. Maybe uh, study something and just take it all in. Um, you could be hooked in, um, tapped in, plugged into something where you're getting this energy. But something is, you're nurturing uh, that energy. You're taking care of it. Uh, and the um, number is seven. That's a number of magic, of mystery of a sacred knowledge, of spirituality. Um, and bladder rack could be an interesting uh, plant for you. So let's see what it is in the number seven, bladder rack. Funny name. Fucus distitious. And it is a seaweed bladder rack that grows in dense bands attaching to rocks and mussels in exposed uh, coastal waters in sheltered bays and estuaries along the Pacific coast from Alaska to California. And um, the Romans used this in ancient times to cure tuberculosis. And it's also considered, um, especially for people who sail across the waters, uh, it has um, antioxidants and it increases your immune system and energy. So you're invited to revitalize right now, a Gemini. Think of an area in your life where you've been taking on too much and are exhausted physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. And this reminds you of the ancient origin of the sea. We even have plants, um, uh, this sacred nature of plants in the ocean. And so it is saying uh, that uh, this card reminds you to be like the waves. Your circumstances, thoughts, and feelings are come and go. And Gemini, your affirmation, I release all that does not serve me into the soothing waters of life. I feel energized and calm. So take time to... Uh, Absorb salt water, get out in the ocean, or take a salt bath, Epsom salts, um, and that will be a very revitalizing for you, Gemini. And uh, thank you again, uh, Spirit Guides, for bringing Gemini precise, a clear, resonating, and accurate information. And this is what I have for Gemini. And uh, you are here coming into uh, the end of September absorbing something new but taking time to revitalize and this is what i have gemini you come in with the two of swords well there is a choice to be made you're coming to a crossroads there is a decision on your mind you could be blindfolded and needing to maybe with this absorption receive take time out rest uh, to uh, go inward to make this decision um and the Gemini, this is Gemini energy of the twin. And I see that there is a swan here holding a heart. Um, so a swan could be very a significant, a totem bird or animal. Uh, and it's something about the new moon. When the new moon starts to shift and grow, uh, you're making this decision. And you could be spending time out in nature with trees uh, and um, 
as this reading is saying, to get out in the ocean with the seaweed. Um, but be in nature to make this decision. Because you've got the five of wands. Well, what is challenging this is a lot of energy, confusion, um, a lot of details, a conflict, a competition in terms of your energies around you. So that could be uh, causing you to want to go inward, uh, to hold off on making a decision because uh, there's fighting, there's arguing, there's setbacks at this time, Gemini. But you've got this foxy energy. You've got both the swan, but uh, look at the fox and the rabbits here. So there's something about, you know, the, the fox uh, is praise on the rabbit, you know. So there's some energy here of um, a st one um, energy going, <clears throat> in or going after another. Something cunning uh, and tricky going after your productivity, your fertility. Um, and you've got to make a decision about that because you're coming to the end uh, mentally. This is the Ten of Swords. So from the two, uh, the competition, the conflict, uh, the setbacks is coming to an end. And you're coming out of a feeling of, of being uh, infringed upon at the root, mentally. Uh, this a feeling that you have this red a cape over you. Uh, but it's almost like you're in a cave, but that's part of what you're wearing, and you can fly out of this. Um, and there is a time of restoration after we hit rock bottom about some something mentally, a way you're thinking, a belief system. Um, but you're coming to a decision about this conflict, and it's going to set you free uh, so you can know what happened in the recent past, the influence is justice. Well, you came to the truth, the right outworkings of whatever this decision is that you were fighting and com competition about and felt maybe with the Ten of Swords at the foundation, it wasn't really fair or true. Somebody betrayed you or hurt you or uh, interfered with you or the way you have been thinking and processing has led to uh, this uh, negative thought system, negative results. And it's just now that you move on from that. And you've got a lot of uh, butterflies of transformation, but also the scale of balance. So you're balancing out something with this decision. And um, we're entering into Libra season. And this is Libra energy, a fellow air sign. Um, and it's coming in that whatever that truth, that justice, that right out workings of a legal situation or just something that hit rock bottom that a decision had to be made on. And the verdict was, look at the moon. It could have come during the super moon recently, the Pisces super moon where you, you closed out this old cycle and you're holding this uh, potential, this new potential. Uh, a whole new world. You're letting go of one world and moving into another. And it's coming because the Seven of Pentacles will, um, this is the near future. There will be a time of uh, evaluation, a period of looking at everything you've grown and seeing it closing out in a positive way, a fortuitous way with celebration and acknowledgement recognition because it's true and just that this comes to completion and it's something you've invested a lot in and maybe had some conflict about your investment because you felt like at the root it had to come to an end uh, it did come to an end mentally and it's leading you to the seven of wands well another seven so you have the seven sevens here and this is an energy of <clears throat> standing your ground for what you've worked on, for what you've invested in. Even if you've had to fight your ground and fight the competition, you've made a decision. And the decision is like the Ten of Swords final. It's the verdict of hitting the end. You're not going and thinking that way anymore. 
uh, because it's not true and just. You're finding a balanced way to close out one way of living, thinking, of operating, what you've been doing. Uh, and so you can come into a whole new world and you're evaluating this, you're praising your investment and what you stood up for. And you see this is the badger and the fox and they're almost like coming right to heads with each other. And you're standing your ground. There's a lot of competition uh, energetically with the fire here from the five to the seven. And the badger and the, uh, it looks like that the uh, a fox is fox mother and she is defending uh, the um, nest or the, uh, where the foxes live, the foxhole. And the badger is a very, uh, like some badgering energy. It's how you're thinking about this choice, this decision. Maybe somebody's badgering you to make a decision. Uh, and you're feeling like that you have to protect yourself or protect you and your loved one from this energy. Um, but the King of Cups is the influence of your environment, someone uh, of that watery Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy uh, is coming uh, as the influence, well, or the influence could just be that the environment uh, around you is very loving, very emotionally balanced. Uh, and you've got this card of justice as the influence. Uh, you balance something out as you close out this world, this cycle. And it's coming now because uh, you have had to fight uh, your, uh, the conflict and also the Ten of Swords to see through what wasn't right or fair or just and get the balance. So you can appraise uh, this uh, creation, what you've worked on and invested in, and what you've actually had to really fight for, defend yourself against the badger. Um, and a lot of emotion has come, and here's a card of the salt water, and there's all that seaweed, the uh, bladder kelp, uh, that is all down here with the turtles. So there's something about a slow and steady energy of love flowing through um, the environment. And the hope and fear is the four of pentacles, well, that you will find this a sense of security financially and balance it out, but uh, that you also maybe fear that you'll have to be too focused on money at this time. Um, maybe you're closing out this old cycle. You have to make a decision energetically about what it is that you are uh, structuring, what it is that is um, where you think your security does lie. And it is um, full of prosperity and balance. Another card of balance, um, Gemini. And your advice is uh, to come into uh, this time with the chariot. We'll move quickly toward that. And this, you're showing up here uh, with uh, that energy of the, <clears throat> you've got uh, this energy as the advice, move toward it. You've got your vehicle, you've got your transportation, and you've got your willpower and determination, and you're moving. This could be uh, that one of my uh, Geminis, you're moving. Uh, you're closing out an old cycle and moving uh, triumphantly toward maybe a new home, a new place, a whole new uh, lifestyle, a whole new upgrade, on a whole new timeline. And that's coming because it's something you saw at the full moon. And uh, it's leading you to this castle, uh, that, this palace, this some beautiful place that you're going toward. And look, you have the crab here uh, so and the turtle. And so there is that um, energy of the water, of that uh, Cancerian energy, of the uh, sea, uh, uh, the bladder rack, that interconnection with all that sea kelp and absorbing that nutrients of the sea itself. And uh, that is uh, my reading for you, uh, Gemini. And you're closing out this uh, cycle with justice, with truth, with balance. 
and you are going to uh, move toward a true evaluation of what you're growing and where you're moving. But the answer is deepen your emotions and your environment. Feel that balance and support um, around you. Uh, and you have the four stability of the coins of that investment is solid. And now you're moving quickly uh, toward this energy of a new destiny uh, with the chariot and truth and the world, justice. So an amazing energy, uh, Gemini. Uh, if this was uh, my reading, I would definitely give me a thumbs up and want to subscribe so you will get these readings when they come out. And I'll be doing uh, a Gemini, your reading uh, every other day, if not every day, uh, time providing. And sending you so much love and thank you for your love and support uh, with your comments, subscriptions, and uh, likes. And see you next time, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.